a few days ago, uh, there was a image leak for the key art for Chapter 4, Season 3, and it has been confirmed real by multiple people, and we got the HD version, like, full version of it, uh, a few days ago as well. So, I am going to break down that image for fun. The first thing you can obviously see is Optimus Prime. Oh, that was terrible. Uh, Optimus Prime. Um, and so there was a leak basically saying Optimus Prime wouldn't be the secret skin, which is quite good, actually. But that is worrying because I want a original tier 100 skin. Um, people are thinking it's going to be like tier 60, tier 70, and I'm like, it's going to be tier 100. If it isn't tier 100 though, I would like a favor style uh, for Optimus Prime because this is the style from the new movie, Transformers Rise of the Beasts. I would like a Bayverse style, though, because the Bayverse Optimus Prime is cool. Even though the movies are terrible, at least they got the designs right. I would also like a Transformers Prime style, because that was the animated show I grew up on, and that's just wishful thinking for me. Uh, next thing is, you can see behind, uh, Optimus, there's a grind rail that is overgrown. Um, and the character I'm going to talk about next is riding on it. And I, I think that is cool that we can be like Tarzan. Uh, but I think it's going to have the same functionality as grind rails, just like different, different, yeah. It's like visually different, but it's going to be having the same function as grind rails, which I guess is fine, but yeah. I wish they could probably improve on the grind rail system, but I'm gonna, I think this is just going to be visually different grind rails. Next, you can obviously see Meow Schools here. Um, summer Meow Schools. Um, so we got, this was leaked in a skin survey, but and the style of coat is different, meaning we know both of the styles for um, some of the obstacles. Personally, not a fan of the skin. It, I, I don't like the mullet. I don't like the at all. And like, it's another me obstacles skin. We have like a bunch of them, and yeah. I, I don't like it. Next, we have this dude. And so this explorer guy um, is, I assume it's going to be tier one because of how basic it is. Um, but people are speculating that it could be progressive because there's a presumably scrapped style for Renzo the Destroyer that was a survey skin and it kind of looks like this guy so people are theorizing that that could be a style for this explorer guy which I think would be cool. I like the survey uh, style for Renzo, but it could be for this guy. But if it's not the case, I do like the detail that it has a map tattooed on the on his chest. So it's like 
very explorer-like theme here, as you can see by all the tropical... Uh, I didn't do that correctly. All the tropicalness around. Uh, I think that is, like, a really good thing for the theme. I, I like it. Um, next, the explorer guy is holding a new weapon, presumably a revolver, um, but from leaks from Hypex, it is saying that this is going to be a lever action revolver, and we don't know the exact stacks, I think, I may have to check. But, um, that could mean the return of, uh, lever-action weapons, like the lever-action shotgun and the lever-action rifle. I like the lever-action shotgun, I dislike the lever-action rifle, though. But, maybe, hopefully this lever-action revolver is good, because, like... The normal revolver got nerfed to the ground, and I hate it now, because you used to be able to basically do a one-pump, kind of, uh, if you like pump revolver, pump revolver. Hopefully you can do that with this weapon, because I love that strat. Uh, next is this skin. Yet again, meh, because it's another punk girl skin, and we've had a million of those. A million. Like, I'm exaggerating here, but it's not that much of an exaggeration. Um, they need to come up with something more original. I know punk skins are, like, good sweat skins, so I think that's what they're going to do, like, they're trying to do here, but... Just give us something else. Be more creative, Epic. Um, I have nothing else to really say about it because it's a punk girl skin. But, raptor riding. Like, that is really dang, like, exciting. Because we got riding in, uh, Chapter 3, Season 3. But, um... The dinosaurs didn't, uh, be in Chapter 3, Season 3. There was some boy thing for it. But now that you can actually ride the raptors, I think the raptors would be more useful. But, this also could mean a Jurassic Park collab. And I love my Jurassic Park a lot. Um... And, like, I'd be so hyped for, like, an Owen Grady skin. And I'd be even more hyped for, like, an Alan Grant skin. And maybe, like, a back blink with, like, a baby raptor or something. That would be awesome. Like, that would... My wallet would be empty after that collab. Um... Last thing I want to touch on in this image is this. A kinetic boomerang. It has the same, like, design of, like, the hammer. So people are... It's going to be a kinetic weapon. Like, lore-wise, made from the kinetic oi found in the shattered slabs. And... It's going to be the gimmick, um, mobility item. People are hoping it's going to be a mobility item, and I'm like, I agree with that, because, like, I hate the get out of free jail weapons, I guess. Like, extremely annoying. They do have balanced, uh, damage output slow. It's just, the they can get you can get, like, out, that your opponents can get out easily, or you can get out easily. 
people are hoping that it's going to be like an actual boomerang you can like throw and stuff um and it'll come back to you after like hitting an opponent like a lock on it locks on to some opponent and you like throw it and it hits the opponent and comes back like in Mario Kart but knowing Epic, it's going to be a mobility item. I am presuming it's going to be like uh, Captain Boomerang's Boomerang in the Suicide Squad game, where he throws it and then like teleports wherever that uh, boomerang hit, it teleports you to it. So it doesn't necessarily come back to you, you go to it. And I think that's going to be the mechanic, the gimmick, I think, maybe. But knowing how kinetic weapons, like, work, maybe not. I don't know. So, Season 3 weapons. You, you need a catchy title, you know, for it to get mass Twitter um, following. So, first... Helicopters are getting a launcher that shoots every two seconds and deals 35 damage and 450 build damage. Here's the thing about this, is helicopters, well, choppers, actually. But helicopters in the game were pretty dang balanced. Um because it was more mobility than the weapons you could get on the side and shoot with your normal weapons. And that was the gun for the uh, chopper. And it's like, that was pretty balanced. Because the chopper was only really used for mobility, but if you needed to shoot someone, you could shoot someone with your normal weapon. But, this is where, then they nerfed it in Chapter 3, Season 2. Now, I think they're trying to buff it again to get to its original state by having a launcher that deals 35 damage. I think it's going to, I think this is going to get annoying, especially for ranked. Um, so, I don't like that helicopters are getting the launcher. And then I talked about the new level pistol right here uh, in the first clip. Epic is, uh, Epic is working on a Epic Legendary Thermal Bolt Action Sniper that does 116, 121 damage body shot, and then a 293, 103 headshot. So, I think the bolt action is probably the best sniper in the game because of how balanced it is. I don't like the fact that, um, I don't like the fact that it is getting a thermal scope. Because that's going to make it overpowered. Because people really do complain about uh, the heavy one-shotting builds. And that was nerfed um, a little while ago. And people, casuals are like, but why? I think they just need to leave the bolt action where it is. Because it is a really good good weapon. It's balanced. It doesn't do that much to builds. But the thermal scope, whilst nice, is going to either make it, like, ruin the weapon, or it's going to make it, uh, extremely good. And that's not going to be great. Because it's a lose-lose. I think they should just go without the thermal and, um, 
yeah, and just put it into the game normally. Six Spring Six Chapter Two Season Seven, I think. Ever since we've had the bolt action. Then the last thing I'm gonna mention here. They're making a mess up drum shotgun. And this is in the history of terrible decisions by Epic, the drum shotgun is one of them. And like the mythic primal shotgun was extremely overpowered and like it was terrible because of how overpowered it was. And then they decide to do it again. And then it's a terrible circle. <sighs> 73 body damage, one night, one on night headshot. Slow fire rate and three second re- reload. Slow fire rate. How slow though? Because, like, if it's still a fast fire rate, that is, you go from the head, that is two shots. Literally, you can two shot someone. And then you can probably just four or five shot someone anyways. And that's almost an instant. And, like... They just need to just permanently vault jump shotgun because of how dang annoying it is. Um, yeah. Unless they can go it to the ground to make it somewhat balanced. Yeah. I have chapter 3 season 2 was brutal with that gun because the Ranger shotgun, it's a good shotgun, it's just, it was outclassed massively uh, with the jump shotgun, which is annoying. And then, let's put that back, they updated the infantry rifle. I hope they're not going to do the thing with, um, the SMGs and scars where they just put in the, uh, put in a model, just one model. I hope it, like, changes into the legendary, uh, epic legendary model. Like, I like the M1 Grand model for the infantry rifle, but I think it's utterly terrifying seeing an epic legendary model for the infantry rifle. Same with, same with the Sky, and same with the P90. Um, but you never know. Anyways, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed uh, enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later. Bye.